Hey guys, Gary with at CustomCuts.ca here with another real quick video on how to do a bleed on a vector image. Okay, we're gonna use this guy that I've been working on, recoloring for my own purposes. Okay, usually my layers palette sits over here, but for this i'm gonna bring it over here and we'll zoom in okay now um this is your design so rename this design okay this group is your main design okay now if you're lucky you're gonna get this, which is an outline of the character, okay? If you're lucky, if the, the designer's been nice enough to put it in there. Usually this is not included, so you, with this, okay? Actually, let me... bigger so you can see okay so usually you're just with this okay so what you want to do is take well since I've got these added on what you want to do is take this main design and duplicate it you're going to lock that one and you can hide this one for now okay then what you're gonna do over in the properties panel, you merge everything together, okay? And if you got a path, you're good to go. If you got a compound path, you have to release it and then merge it again, okay? But we got this path, okay? It's the outline of your design. You need two copies of this. You need the bleed and the cut. So while you're on here and you've got your background color, you're going to object path offset path, okay? I highly recommend that you, with stuff that you're using all the time, create a sh keyboard shortcut, which can be found in edit, pref edit, edit, and then keyboard shortcuts. Okay, I'm not gonna get into that right now. That's not the purpose of this video. Anyway, we we'll go back. Object path, offset path, okay? Mine, I work in inches and I set it to 0.625 and make it round. Don't miter it, round it. It miters, if your miter limit's way too big, it's gonna do screwy things with your design and you're gonna have way too much printing. All these spikes. So now you got your offset path. Okay. Click okay. That is now your bleed. Okay. Which is drag below okay this is now your cut line okay and what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your contour cut on it okay now I have set up a style of 
all my stuff. Just wait for the hard drive to boot up. But you can see here, I've got a contour cut style, okay? So click on that and then we'll put this back on and there you have it. You've got your cut, your main design and your bleed, okay? Now, what you also wanna do, what I do, Select all three and group them. That way, when you resize it, everything's resizing in the group. If you use, right? And that's how you do it. That you got cut, main design, and your bleed, and you're good to go. And you're not printing blocks and huge amounts of on the outside. Okay, hope this is helpful. Any questions, just ask.